Is your mail? Okay. All right. We're just going to talk uh, for right. WFAE Radio for just a couple of seconds here. What's your name? Sarah Cohen. Spell the last name? C-O-H-E-N. Okay. So, what do you think so far? Uh, wow. It's really been kind of overwhelming, <laughs> but really exciting. Um, it's kind of cool to see all the di diversity in the city and all the events and all the police. Lots of police. Oh, and the protesters. I went to Fraser Park yesterday. Lots of lots of interesting stuff going over there. What are you hoping to, to gain from this? Um, just the experience, I guess. This is really cool. And, um, maybe just, uh, we've heard a lot of speakers, so just more knowledge about the, um, you know, the convention and just kind of what goes on behind the scenes. Okay. And tell me, uh, your what grade, what year? I'm a sophomore at Winthrop University in uh, political science. Thanks a lot. Your name? Uh, Travis Wisnant. W-H-I-S-E-N-A-N-T. Okay, and you are a? I'm a senior political science major at Winthrop. Okay, and what are your first impressions down here? Um, wow, it's just a really big, uh, just a lot more than I thought. Uh, well, not, just really unexpected and just a lot of happening around. I've been to Charlotte before, and then to come back and see it like this, it's just, it's really exciting. All right, and same question, what do you hope to uh, learn or take away from this week? Really just, like you said, the experience and uh, just getting more involved with this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm, uh, it, it, it's, yeah, I'm really interested in politics and just getting involved and in being like here, it feels like you know, you're right at the center of everything, so it's really cool. It's NPR. Are you all uh, political science? Uh, some of us are. There's, there's a few uh, journalism majors and I think there's one uh, English major, but uh, for the most part, we're political science majors. Okay, great. And lead? Lead is a uh, learn experience, experience American <laughs> democracy. <Okay. laughs> Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. All right. What sort of personal characteristics, what sort of credentials are necessary to do that? And I'll begin with the immediate past chair, uh, Mrs. Fowler. Well, I, I rolled my eyes when he, when he <laughs> asked that question because I'm not sure I know what it takes to lead a political party. Um, I, I think it, it, it takes a willingness to just plunge in and do whatever needs to be done from, um, from cleaning the kitchen to uh, making a speech. But uh, I think it takes a certain amount of political experience. Um, a, a political party chair is called on every day to make lots of decisions and to render judgments on all kind of things and without some political experience to to base those decisions on uh, it, it would be difficult um, I think you have to be a little bit um, brassy and brazen <laughs> because you have to ask people all day every day to do things they don't particularly want to do <laughs> and you have to tell people all day you have to tell people no when they want you to say yes and you have to tell them yes when they want you to say no uh, but um, but I think a, a, a good understanding of how the electoral process works and a good understanding of campaigns are, are also essential thank you very much Dr. Fallon money <laughs> um, all of the things that Carol said, but at any level, from the national level to the local precinct level, if you do what you're supposed to do in a political organization, this is true of Republicans and Democrats as well, you have to have money. And the higher up you go in the organization, the more money it takes. And the more time you have to spend raising money. Uh, money is the mother's milk of politics, and uh, that really is uh, a, a certainty. And I know a lot of people criticize that. It costs so much money, and, and, and it, you waste so much time raising money. And all of that's true, but the certain fact is if you don't have it, you'll get beat. Um, and both parties are propelled to do that. The money thing in the United States has just, getting, just gotten to be outrageous. But uh, you also have to have a keen sense of, um, of who you are and what your party is. Uh, there are clear distinctions between the two parties. In general, Republican Party is more conservative, uh, made up uh, more of Anglo-Saxon white Protestants, um, wealthy people, and the Democrats have, are composed demographically of opposite uh, ethnic groups, socio socioeconomic level, much more diverse than the Republicans. 
and you have to know what your party is and you have to be able to frame a message so that the issues that are most helpful to your party are articulated to whatever your jurisdiction is. Thank you very much. Ms. Lovett. I will agree with both what both powers said, but I think another aspect, especially on my type of position rather than being a chair, being a staffer, the biggest thing that I think is most important for executive directors, no matter what state they work in, is patience. Uh, it's a very I, you know, I think I, I want this to be very interactive. Uh, first, talk to them about the experience that we had in Tampa, and, and just that whole process of of uh, selecting a site, and then from there doing all the things it take to get to that opening night. So, uh, and uh, I want to hear from them. Hopefully, I'll be able to answer whatever questions. Another obstacle there is I'm not going to be running as a Republican or a Democrat. I've, I've been approached by some folks here or, or there, but frankly, I don't want anything to do with them. And frankly, one of the major reasons I'm running is to show how difficult it is to run as an independent. North Carolina has the second worst ballot access restrictions in this entire in United States. This entire United States. Nobody who's not a Republican or Democrat has ever occupied a city council position. And so in a country as large as ours, 315 million people, I've mentioned this earlier, we are a diverse country. Look at this audience, a diverse country, a diverse religiously, diverse socioeconomically. We have diversity in our regional, you know, south, west, east, what have you. Um, why do we have two parties that represent us? Two parties that represent us? Frankly, I'm not happy with the choices that I have before me. I know some people might be happy, but frankly, I see this as we're constantly voting for the lesser of two evils, and we're voting against someone. So a lot of people in this crowd are voting for Obama because, frankly, they're afraid of Romney. Frankly, we're voting, people are voting for Romney because they're afraid of Obama. And I just think that this is a strange culture that we're living in, and this isn't what, uh, this isn't what I grew up for America to be. This isn't, what, what, this isn't what I was told in my stories you know, by um, teachers and whatnot, that democracy is choosing the lesser of two evils. So I, hopefully we can break through this political barrier and have true voices represented. As far as leadership, you're right. There is no leadership. Um, I don't consider myself the leader in any way of Occupy Charlotte. We consider ourselves not necessarily leaderless, but leaderful. We're all leaders. We don't, there's again, there's no hierarchical structure in this whatsoever. Every person is considered an equal among, among the group. And we pride ourselves on that, on that way of organizing. I just so happen to be here today, honestly, um, because of you know, connections with a few of you guys, the professors that are helping out. And frankly, I have been put in the spotlight a lot more as a spokesman for the group. Um, and so a lot, a lot of the group has kind of pushed me up, up front, so yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't say they're propelling me to the front. They're just saying a lot of times that um, they're happy with me, with me speaking. Now, there have been other universities that have other members have spoken to. Just be, we have a festival going on right at this instance, so we can't really have our whole crew you know, arrive in, in full force. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> 